secretario general de las Naciones Unidas. It's five decades since the world was pushed to the brink of nuclear war. Then, communist Cuba was at the center of it. Now, with tensions high on the Korean peninsula, Fidel Castro has issued a warning from history. In comments read out on state media, he urged North Korea, as a friend, to step back from the brink. Now its technical and scientific advances have been demonstrated. If a war breaks out there, Fidel wrote, people on both sides of the peninsula will be horribly sacrificed. Not only that, he added, such a war would seriously affect over 70 percent of the Earth's population. It's months since Fidel Castro has written one of these, his reflections. And the fact that he's picked up his pen again after so long shows just how seriously Cuba's former leader takes the situation on the Korean peninsula. And the message from the man who was at the heart of the worst nuclear crisis in history so far, that nuclear war must be avoided at all cost. To move the world back from the abyss of destruction. It was October 1962 when the United States spotted Soviet nuclear missile launchers here in Cuba. Fidel argued then that the weapons were for self-defense, his stance in those days belligerent. But their discovery triggered 13 days of extreme tension that could have unleashed unprecedented destruction. Fifty years later and wiser, Fidel Castro has called the Korean situation incredible and absurd the greatest risk of nuclear conflict since the Cuban crisis was averted. So he called on Barack Obama to avoid nuclear war or go down, as he said, as the most sinister figure in U.S. history. But his main message seemed aimed at Pyongyang, a reminder of the huge risks of threats that so easily escalate into action. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, Havana.